Hey Pool fans, welcome back to another video. Before we get started in today's episode, if you've not subscribed, smash that button. We've gone over 10,000 subscribers now, so thanks to you all. As soon as we hit 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a phenomenal prize. I'm not going to tell you just yet. As soon as the numbers increase, I'll do another video and tell you what you guys can win just for being a subscriber. So smash that button. Now let's get into today's video. One of the most frustrating things in pool is when you make a poor decision. You have an easy layout, an easy few balls to pot. Looks like you're going to win the rack. Bang, you make a bad decision and you end up missing an easy ball through poor shot selection. I'm just going to show you a little situation where it will improve your pool game all around just by thinking a little bit different. Before we start, last year I talked about some merch, Pool Life merch. This is a prototype. This has been sent to me off the guys I've been working with. What do you think? Is this the type of top you would buy? I want Pool Life to be very cool, very modern. This is a mid-layer. There's going to be hats, there's going to be t-shirts. Stay tuned for more details very soon. Okay, guys. Three balls left. Seven, eight, and nine. Looks very easy. Let's be honest. It is very easy. But it's very easy when you make the correct decisions. So this is the angle I've got on the seven ball. I'm going to put a line across the table from the eight, that is the exact center line where you need to be potting the eight in this side pocket. Let me explain. So after potting this seven ball, I want the cue ball to be on that side of the line. That means I've got easy guaranteed position to get on the nine. So what happens if you don't put enough spin on the seven ball and you don't get high on the line? This is where it gets interesting. So let me just pot the seven. So I'm playing this wrong because I'm trying to land on the top side of the line. And there you see I don't. So let me just change the camera angle. This is where it gets interesting. So what was a very easy finish because I've played the seven ball wrong. I didn't go top side of this line. I've landed on the bottom side. Now the cue ball is running away from the nine ball. Many amateur pool players try and do this they try and swing the cue ball around the table to get position on the nine now let's move the camera angle and show you what can go wrong with that shot so you've just seen the angle i am faced with this is the problem now the cue ball is not going to come down here for an easy nine it's going to run away this is what not to do don't be trying to force the cue ball round the table to get close or straight on the nine because this can happen often. You don't deliver the cue through right. And the cue ball stays up there. You don't get enough spin on it. And then you're in a world of trouble. Also, this can happen. You get the point I'm making. Because you've landed low on the eight, you're scared of leaving yourself a three-quarter ball shot on the nine. You try and play a super difficult shot, and then three instances is what can happen. You see it all the time. Bad cueing, you can miss cue. You could under-hit the shot, not deliver the cue through. It causes major, major problems. So, what do we do? Don't be scared of leaving yourself a little trickier nine ball that you might have wished before you started with three balls. Just like this, very, very simple, watch. So this is it, I've potted the seven, I come round to the table, I've not landed high of my line, this line here. I'm a little bit fuming with myself, but I'm not gonna chase a cue ball round the table to try and get better position. I'm just literally gonna do this, I'm just gonna get down, and just roll the eight ball in and leave the cue ball there. Now, realistically, spinning the cue ball around the table when I've not got that much angle, can I really get better than that? Possibly, but if you played the shot 10 times, it's gonna go wrong. That is not gonna go wrong. A nice, delicate, little drag shot, high on the cue ball, 
pot the eight, have a little wander around the table. It's a little bit trickier than I would have liked. This would have been perfect, but I've made a smart decision. Now it's all about focus on the nine ball. Have a look at the potting angle. That always gives you a nice guide into the pocket and just build yourself up for the shot. Go for your routine, what you do time and time again, and do this for the win. Very, very simple, very simple finish, but it can go wrong. Make smarter decisions. Things like this come up all the time in a game of pool. Pool is not like snooker, it's not like darts, it's not like golf. Them three sports, just for example, they tell you what to do on the tin. You stick your ball in the ground and you hit it and you try and get it in that hole. In snooker, you go red, colour, red, colour. Darts, you throw it at the board, you try and hit the highest points. Pool, there's a lot of things going on in your head to make you a better pool player. And usually, the best pool players in the world think smarter, and that's why they make it look easy. Just a little, I mean, that's just one little shot that I've put up. Many situations come up like that. Make smarter decisions, and your pool game will go through the roof.